Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the shift reduce parsing. Shift reduce parsing is actually the bottom up parsing technique, and uh, it is actually a base approach that we'll be studying and that will be used for the uh, next uh, uh, topics that we will be discussing. So uh, the bottom. This is the bottom up parsing technique uh, in which. Uh, The uh, string is actually reduced to string is reduced to start symbol. Fine. <clears throat> so what the string actually is? Uh, let's say we have we are actually uh, writing a for loop. So for loop is actually for i equals to let's say zero, i less than or equal to ten, and i plus plus. So this is the syntax of writing the for loop. So uh, in the, in, when we are writing the for loop, uh, the syntax is that after writing the for, you have to start with the uh, this opening parenthesis. Then you have to write the initialization statement followed by a semicolon, and then uh, the in, uh, comparison part and followed by the semicolon, and then increment or decrement part followed by the parenthesis close. So this actually is the instance of the for loop. Fine. So there is a particular syntax of writing the for loop, and this actually is the one one of the instance of writing the for loop. For example, we can write this as uh, the, another instance of this as for j equals to one. Let's say j equals to ten. J is greater than or equal to zero. J minus five. Okay. So this is again an instance of this. So all these instances of uh, writing with this for loop uh, are the strings. So we have to check if this string is written according to the grammar rules or not, or what we can say that if this is a for loop instance, so if this is written according to the grammars or the rules, set of rules or the syntax. So we just need to check all those things. So the shift reduce parsing is a bottom up parsing technique, which actually uh, will convert this instance to the start symbol. If we are able to convert this instance to the start symbol of the grammar, that means that means the uh, Uh, the syntax of the, uh, the the string syntax is correct, and we have been able to justify that uh, the string which is written is correct according to the grammar rule. So, uh, what uh, happens in the case of the shift reduce parsing? That if we have, uh, let's say, some string like this a plus b minus c. So this actually is the expression, and let's say this is. Like this x equals to a plus b minus c. So this is an expression, and uh, this is uh, an expression containing the uh, arithmetic operator symbols plus and minus, and the assignment symbol that is equals to. Now, uh, if plus, minus, plus, minus, and equal to symbols are uh, written according to the rules such that, uh, let's say, there there are two operand symbol a, a and b. And if plus is applied in between these two operands, that means the syntax is correct. Similarly, a minus <clears throat> is also a binary operator, so we must have the two operand symbols uh, associated with the minus. So th uh, on the left of uh, the minus, there should be an operand symbol, and then on the right also there should be operand symbol. So there is a particular syntax according to which this string is written. Now, uh, if we are able to reduce this uh, string to the start symbol of the grammar, then we will say that uh, this this uh, expression is correct. Just to take an example and uh, to simplify this, let's say we have an expression a plus b minus c, and there is a grammar of sort s equals to s plus s, and then s equals to s minus s, and then s equals to Under parenthesis s, and then s equals to a. So this equals to is not written like this. This is actually the production symbol. So we will write it like this. Similarly, this is also the production. The next one. So that too we will write like this. So these these are the production rules, and this is that uh, s produces s plus s, s produces s minus s, s produces under parenthesis s, and s produces a. Now uh, this a actually is the identifier. Fine. So this is a s produces identifier, which is id. So these are the production rules, and we just have to check if this string a plus b minus c is written according to the rules or not. 
<clears throat> now, uh, for checking that if this is written according to the rules or not, we must uh, take a stack. Let's say that this is there is a stack, and we have the stack contents, and then the input a string, and then what action we have to take. So let's make a table of. Uh, doing all these operations. So the input string that we have is A plus B minus C, right? And uh, you know that uh, while doing the parsing, we apply a dollar symbol at the end of the string, and there is a dollar with the stack also. So the top of this stack adds at the moment is the dollar. Now, uh, once we once we see that uh, the string is this one, and uh, in this string we have the symbols a plus b minus c. The current symbol that we are able to observe is a, and uh, what we will do with this identifier that we will push it on the stack. So the stack already had a dollar, and we are pushing a here. Fine. So a disappears from this place uh, means means the, the string because a has. A has now been pushed to this stack. So now we remain with this these symbols only. <clears throat> so what action actually we have done while seeing the A is shift A. Fine. So the, the symbol A has been shifted uh, uh, shifted on the stack, or we can say that the symbol A has been pushed on the stack. Now we have the another action to perform. Now if A is there in the, on the stack. And there is a production rule like uh, this one. S produces ID. So this S produce we can reduce this A symbol by the production rule. S produces ID. Okay. So if we reduce this A symbol according to this, so the left hand side of the production is S. So A has been reduced to the left hand side of the production symbol that is S. So dollar S is now there on the stack. Now we have plus. Okay, we have now plus here in the uh, as the next input next uh, uh, symbol in the input string. So what we will do? We will shift this plus. If we shift this plus, so on the stack we will see a start symbol and the plus is on the top of the stack. Now we do not have this plus in the input string because that has been shifted to the stack or pushed to the stack. Now what the next action we actually required to do? There is a B symbol in the input string. So let's shift B on the stack. So the stack already had a start symbol and a plus. We have pushed the B there. So what, what is the next action we need to perform? The string is this one now because B has been pushed on the stack. The next is that we should reduce this B by this production. S produces I B. So what we'll do, we will reduce this b by s produces id means b is an identifier so uh, we are going to reduce it by the left hand side of the production symbol that is s so a stack has s plus and then x now see we are again doing going to see that there is a s plus s sort of thing which is there as the right hand side of a production s produces s plus s so we can reduce this s plus s by So the S, S has to be reduced by <clears throat> this S. Fine. So S plus S has been reduced by this is start symbol S. Now the next symbol that we are observing is minus. So what should what action we should actually do with this? So we should shift this minus on this step. Okay. So dollar S. And then minus, and we remain with C and dollar of the stack uh, as the input string. What is the next action we need to do? There is a C, so we will shift the C on the stack. After doing so,
we remain with only dollar as input string which is the last symbol in the input string uh, what action we are going to perform we have c at the top of this tag so by this rule as reduced by s to display id we can convert this symbol c to the start symbol okay in the string we have only dollar now we have s minus s you can see that there is a production s produces s minus s so s minus s is appearing on the top of the stack when we can reduce it by the left hand side of the symbol that left hand side of the production that is s now we remain with s at the top of the stack and dollar and uh, as the input string so what action we should do we have reduced the input string to the start symbol there is no other symbol on the stack fine there is only this start symbol then we can say that this uh, uh, string has been accepted acceptance of the string means that we have uh, we have converted the string to the start symbol parsing has been done okay the the string was written according to the rules so since the string is written according to the rules we will say that uh, the string is correct the syntax of the string is correct and uh, there is no error uh, by uh, we have no we have not observed any error in the syntax of the string Thank you.